All right, guys, tomorrow is officially Christmas Eve. So tonight, for the very last Saturday Night Snack in a Movie before Christmas, we are going to be watching Christmas Vacation. We got it queued up on the TV right back here. We got our Christmas tree set up here. And in just a minute, I'm going to be showing you how to make some delicious snacks called Little Debbie Christmas Tree Cake Balls. Or... Little Debbie Christmas tree cake pops. <laughs> but first, someone recently asked me to show you guys how we have the house decorated for Christmas. So let's do exactly that. This is what it looks like outside our house. I spent hours putting up those Christmas lights on the house about a month ago before Thanksgiving even came around. Of course, you guys may have already seen the 20 foot snowman up there. I don't know what's going on with him. It actually snowed the other day, and as soon as he got a little bit of snow on him, he fell down and almost deflated completely. That was a bummer, because he cost 200 bucks. <laughs> but yes, there is how our home looks for the holidays up there. And if we come up here, I'll show you that all month long while we've been getting deliveries, we have had a little basket out here full of all kinds of goodies for the delivery people, whoever that may be. It's almost empty again now, but we had all kinds of candy and snacks and all kinds of stuff in there. Now, if we come on into the house here, you can see our white wreath here on our front door. And if we come through, there's the lady of the house right there. And we've been working on the living room here. Like I showed you, we got our movie queued up over here. We have our Christmas tree over here. And the first people we're going to be meeting with for Christmas is my family with uh, my kids and their kids. And so we have all their gifts out here. And believe it or not, you cannot see them in the tree, but there are 40 Christmas presents jammed into the branches of that tree. Look at this, like if I get closer, you can start to see them. Here's boxes here. They're all the way around. We got some tins over here. More tins up here, more boxes up here. Yeah, 40 of them. But as I back up, you cannot even tell that there is one in there. How crazy is that? Now, I also put some lights up on the back deck here, which having these things in the way, we can't go out there. But as you can see, I have Christmas lights wrapped all around the deck and even inside where the uh, hot tub is in there. But without further ado, let's get to making tonight's snack, Little Debbie Christmas Tree Cake Pops. All right, so these are gonna be so delicious, guys. I just know it because who doesn't love Little Debbie cakes and especially Little Debbie Christmas tree cakes. So what we're making today is Little Debbie Christmas tree cake pops or balls or whatever you wanna call them. So we are gonna actually use Little Debbie Christmas tree cakes or in this case, Little Debbie birthday cakes because I can't find the Christmas tree cakes in any store right now. They are completely sold out. But the good thing is that they all taste the same. So you can use any Little Debbie cakes that you want. They're gonna get mashed up and mixed in anyway, so it really doesn't matter. And with that said, the first ingredient is our Little Debbie cakes. We're using the birthday cakes, but you can use zebra cakes, you can use the unicorn cakes. I don't know, I've seen a whole bunch of different kinds, but we are gonna use the birthday cakes. The next thing we need is a bar of cream cheese. The next thing that we are going to need is white vanilla flavored melting chocolate. Now these come in a variety of different brands. It just kind of depends on where you get them. I got these at Target. You can get them at Walmart. You can get them pretty much in any grocery store. I actually got two bags of these because I like to err on the side of having too much rather than too little. And we're going to be dipping these balls in and covering them completely with chocolate. The next thing you're going to need is cookie icing. Now, you can do this a couple of different ways. I bought the cookie icing because we needed red, we need to drizzle it on, and this specific cookie icing is the kind that will harden up. Now, if you want to, if you can't find that kind of icing, you can just use the chocolate. You can add some red food coloring, but you have to have like a cookie decorator 
that has a tip like this on it so that you can actually use it to write on these or just put stripes which is what we're gonna do they also do have red ones if you just want to get those instead of using food coloring and we still have some sprinkles left from when we made our Christmas grams when we watched Elf. So we're going to use some of those. And if you watched that Elf episode, then you will remember that we melt our chocolate. Now I'm going to use this, which I picked up at Walmart. I believe it was $25. I've used this in several of these snacks that we've made. It's just very easy to just pour the chocolate in there and let it heat up and melt. But if you don't have one of those and you don't want to spend the money on it, you can simply use a bowl that you can use in the microwave. Pour your chocolate in the bowl, stick it in the microwave for 30 seconds, take it out, stir it up, 30 seconds more, take it out, stir it up. Do that three or four times until it's all melted. The main reason why I say that this is well worth the money instead of doing it the microwave way is because this keeps the chocolate warm and keeps it melted. Now what are we going to use to dip these in the chocolate? Well we have a couple of options. You can get these little candy sticks at Walmart or wherever you're shopping for your ingredients. You can stick that stick in the ball and use that to dip it in the chocolate. Or you can use like some little tongs. I think we're gonna use these. If you buy this, it actually does come with some of these sticks. And when you're making these, you can either leave them on the stick like a popsicle, or you can just use the stick to dip it, then take it off the stick and eat the ball. Okay, let's get down to cooking. So I will say first that I'm using a recipe that I found on a website called My Heavenly Recipes. This is such an easy recipe, guys. Anybody can do it. We're basically gonna take the birthday cakes, crumble them up, mash them up, and mix them with the cream cheese, form them into little balls, stick them in the fridge for a little bit so they don't fall apart as soon as you try to grab them with the tongers, dip them in the chocolate, put them on some parchment paper and let them dry, then use your cookie icing and drizzle across those just like it is on the Christmas tree cakes, and take some green sugar and sprinkle that on it just like it is on the Christmas tree cakes as well. Now the recipe calls for 10 Christmas tree cakes. These are shaped a little bit different than the Christmas tree cakes. These are just like bars. So we're probably gonna use most of these. I got two boxes just to be safe, plus they're delicious, so I can sneak one out and eat it. <laughs> so the first thing we need to do is take these out of the plastic because we're gonna be crumbling them up and mixing them with the cream cheese. I think the easiest way to do this Put them all in the bowl. Take a wooden spoon or a spatula and just start smashing them up. There we go. Man, does that smell good. Next, we're gonna take the entire block of cream cheese and you need to leave this sitting out for a few hours before we do this because it needs to soften up. It needs to be at room temperature. You can see how soft it is because we need to easily mix it in with our Christmas tree cakes. There we go. The easiest way to do this is just to smash it together rather than trying to mix it. I'm not gonna lie, it takes some muscle to do it because you're smashing those cakes into the cream cheese. So this is how you want it to look when you're done smashing all of that together. Okay, so the next thing we gotta do is take out a pan, put a piece of parchment paper on it, and then we're going to use an ice cream scoop to scoop this into little balls. Probably the easiest way to do it. You can just use a regular spoon too. Take a little ball, roll it around and form it, and there you go. <laughs> Set it right on your tray. And we're going to do that as many times as we need to to make as many balls out of this batter as we can. And there we go, we got just over two dozen of those. And before we can dip these, we need to put them in the fridge for a little while so they can harden up a little bit. So we're gonna put them in here for a couple hours. Meanwhile, I'll prepare our chocolate for melting, and in about two hours, we'll come back and see how those are doing. And it's been about three hours now. Yeah, those feel nice and firm. We'll set them down over here and get our chocolate prepared. So as I said, we're gonna use our Wilton chocolate melter right here. It's plugged in, we're gonna turn it up all the way. And then we are gonna add one bag, maybe even both bags, just depends on how much there is. 
we do have two dozen of these to dip. So I think we're gonna go ahead and use both bags. So I think we're just gonna do these as little balls you can pick up and throw in your mouth and eat. <laughs> um, but if you do want to make them into actual cake pops, like I said, you'll need some of these sticks. And they have one of these at Walmart in the baking section. It comes in four pieces. Put these two pieces together first, then you add these on the top, and there you go. As you make your pops, you just stick the little stick right down in there and that'll hold them up. All right, we can see our chocolate beginning to melt in there. Just take a spoon and mix it up every once in a while, give it a few more minutes to melt, and it'll eventually become a dippable liquid. Make sure you have another pan and another piece of parchment paper ready for each dipped ball to go on to dry. So I ended up adding the second bag because I could just tell we're not going to have enough chocolate out of just one bag to do all two dozen of these. And I want to make sure to tell you guys to have your sprinkles ready because you kind of got to sprinkle these while they're a little wet still. The cookie icing doesn't even matter. You can put that on after they're completely dry. But the sprinkles, you want to stick to them, so you got to sprinkle them while there's a little bit of wetness. <laughs> so while this is melting, you do want to keep stirring it. Not continuously. You can take a minute away from it, just let it get really hot. But the chocolate will kind of lump together, so you have to make sure that you keep stirring it in order to keep it melting. We're just about ready here. I'm just going to turn the camera down here onto what we're doing, and you can enjoy the dipping of the balls. <laughs> So you can see how you have to work fast to do these guys. I ended up using a spoon because it was much easier to pick up these balls and set them back down. This thing would get stuck on them and then it would leave parts that didn't have any candy on them. So spoon for the win. And these are our Christmas tree cake balls so far. We did get sprinkles on most of them, but this is what I was saying about doing it while they're still wet because these over here started to get dry before we put any sprinkles on, so that's why those don't have any. We'll let those dry for a few minutes here, and then we'll go ahead and put our cookie icing on, just like you see it on the Christmas tree cakes. Okay, so these are ready for the icing, and what I did to make them a little bit more presentable, I put them on a new pan, but first I went around each one, and I cut off all the excess candy from the edges on the bottom. Totally unnecessary, but it does make them look better. And then I just added that extra candy back into the candy bowl so we can melt it later for whatever else we're gonna dip. All right, that worked out pretty good. Much better than I thought it was going to actually. Because this icing is the kind that wants to like settle and then it has to set. So I was afraid that this would all drip down the sides, but look how good that turned out. Yeah, look at that. Little Debbie Christmas tree cake pops or Little Debbie Christmas tree balls. Okay, so I put these in the fridge for a little bit just so that that frosting would settle a little bit better. And yes, that definitely worked. So there they are, our finished Little Debbie Christmas tree cake pops. Look at how delicious those look. Let's go ahead and give a little taste test here. Mmm, 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 mmm. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Those are amazing. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Little Debbie, y'all done it again. Now, I will say these are not the consistency of a piece of cake. It tastes like a piece of cake, a delicious piece of cake. But remember, we smashed up the Little Debbie cakes, and then we mixed them with cream cheese. So it's not like a solid piece of cake inside there. It's like a cake concoction. <laughs> 
All right, guys. Well, I'm going to share some of these with my lovely wife, and we are going to watch Christmas Vacation. Merry Christmas to one and all. Make sure you subscribe, leave me a comment below, and stay tuned, guys, because we have so many more awesome videos coming, including Saturday Night Snack and a Movie every Saturday of the year.